I've never seen craftsmanship like this before. Can't imagine how old it is. What a beautiful dagger. Impractical. Ceremonial. A nice knife. Shame it's rusted. 
Well, that's all the lost artifacts from Tyr's temple. Fancy a visit to a certain dwarven shopkeeper? of the Valkyrie Queen. Prepare to be very impressed. Now, Thor's not the only one with lightning in his hand. All this for little old me? You need any more? Y'all know where to find me. Good to see the chimes working as intended. As you ask. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with them. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. It is not a perfect family, but it is ours. You thought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was... Awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness. I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Say, while I have you, any news on the stag front? Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell your us his name, though. Your stags are returned. A completist, I approve. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I... Figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not going to be very happy with me. No. Hmm.
Charlie. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Freya, look. Mercury. I know, but I can't stay. There's still things I must do. Kratos, I should look for someone who can watch over him. Permanently. Goodbye, Charlie. Soon. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Somar. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the other. <laughs>
why do you yawn? Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap! Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars, find a wife, die for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. Force of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. to the crater we have leftover business to attend to bound to be even more dangerous beasties with valuable resources i'll have we have arrived from Yari and Somer here. Mimir, tell me more of Yari. After leaving his family, he wandered the realms in search of something unnameable. But in all his wondrous travels, nothing satisfied him. Until he met another wanderer in search of something similar. Unnameable. He was called Somer. Let us find the final ingredient. Look forward to exploring Alfheim and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? 
They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. Odd. It looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My. That is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela, and another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good in our efforts in our future. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. We start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. Another carving. The last ingredient in the recipe. One more ingredient around here, brother. The meeting of Yari and Soma. Ah, right. So the two agree traveling together might be beneficial. And less lonely. Aye. Their bond with each other grew quickly, and the meals they shared became legendary. It was said that to dine with them could sustain you for weeks. That was the last of the ingredients. We could take them back to the cauldron in Midgard.
Kratos. I see something. <laughs> Finish the story. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Soma first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Oh? How'd they manage to reach Jotunheim? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. And the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other.